and welcome to episode 46 of the Improv Gaming Gamescast here on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. I am one of your hosts, Pete, joined by two guys and a girl. It's like two men and a baby. You ever seen that movie? No. To my far left, <laughs> we have the biggest Zelda fan in the world. Don't believe me, he has a tattoo of the Triforce on his right arm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jeremy Bird. All ages. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Biggest Zelda fan in the world coming at you once again. To my right, he only has the best, the best ponytail in the business. It's all right. Yes, he admits it. <laughs> Mr. Nicholas. Of mid vape, bro. I know, that's why I did it. <laughs> How's it going tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Make them suspense. Wait. And to my direct left, Sorry. we have the best camera girl and sister in all of Mushroom Kingdom. No. No. My sister's kind of awesome. Oh. Yeah, she is. <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> Miss Christine. I'm the one who puts up with him, though. Just a little bit higher rank. But little... she puts up with me. I put up with him. <laughs> yeah, but she puts up with me. You both don't have my sister, so thank for that. Because so, my sister sucks. I'm wondering what everybody thought of the Chinese food we had earlier. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? It's about gaming. Don't worry, guys. Shack ass. <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth. I can help you one, Pete. Hmm? I can do one for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fine. My wonder is, what do we feel of Hardcore Harry? The trailer which we saw before Deadpool. I love it. The first person fucking video game looking That sounds stupid. You what? don't like it? I don't like that at all. I agree, too. I don't like that concept at all. An entire movie filmed in first person. I thought, like, I'm like, this is a video game, and I'm like, Hardcore Harry, I'm like, you need a better title, guys. It's, it looks stupid. Yeah. It's like, it's essentially like the premise of every sci-fi video game ever. Hey, you were dead, but we made a robot out of you, and now the government wants it. Back to the real, I'm wondering. <laughs> First of all, Chinese was great. If you didn't know what we're talking about, watch yesterday's Coming to a Console Near You. Yeah. Here on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming. Wow, that's, uh, not, that's not the title. Yeah, to a console near you. Not coming to a console near you. It's coming? <laughs> it is not coming to, to a console, console near you. You said coming to a console near you. Yeah, you're coming? Anyway, that's <laughs> it's not called point. to a console near I'm you. I'm wondering, <laughs> part one is, who saw the Uncharted 4 story trailer? Don't care. I did not. Don't care. <gasps> it's overrated, sir. Remember that? Have, the baby? We've been to this already. It's overrated. <laughs> we don't care. Okay, let me explain. Everybody here except for you doesn't care about Uncharted. It's a great trailer. Let me tell you. It's, it's a minute, uh, t two minutes and ten seconds. Oh, it big, gives a big great earth shattering thing. It gives a great idea of what the story is about. It gives you a great look at all the characters. It gives a good look about the home life that Nate has versus the compelling life and his brother and him and their long history of finding this one. It's a fantastic trailer. So, let me know in the comments what you thought of the Uncharted story trailer. Now. For somebody, for you, that I, I, this is why it's a part two, because I know you hate Uncharted, so. I don't hate it. I just the part it's two is, it's what are your game. feelings about Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6 coming to PS4 the, the, and the, Xbox One? The ponytail's one? down. The ponytail's down. <laughs> look! It's, look at this! So Resident Evil 6 is coming out in March okay. for PS4 and Xbox. Mm -hmm. Resident Evil 5 is coming out in summer, and the one that I want to play the most is Resident Evil 4, and that's coming out fall. Which okay. makes some, no sense. Why wouldn't you have 4, 5, 6, and do marches? Because it's harder to go further back. Yeah, I know, yep. but I'm just saying. Uh, so um, what are your thoughts on them getting real release for the modern console? I'll be honest. 4, I love... 5 what, sucked. Thank you, I was going to get to that. Let me try again. Four, love 4, probably my favorite um, Resident Evil game other than Nemesis. Yes, shit on me for that one. I like that game. Um, Resident Evil 5, I don't give a flying fuck about. You can't try to make... Um, what the fuck is it? Left for Dead into Resident Evil doesn't fucking work. And Six, I'm actually excited for it too because I'm a big fan of Six as well. Did you like Six? Because I wanted to pick it up, but I heard so many crappy reviews about it. And I, it was just... I bought it like a couple months after it came out, and it was a good game. I liked it for what it was. And it had nice with the crossing stories and everything yeah, it was, like that. It was that. a good way because I liked it because they brought all the characters together. Yeah. That's what I give it. I give it a thumbs up for. Don't play Five. Five ain't worth it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is the greatest video game games cast in all of Mushroom Kingdom, of all Albion, <clears throat> and all the past, present, and future locations set in the Assassin's Creed series. No one and cares about that series. What you might be happy to hear is they're not going to annualize it. Yes, like I know that. It sounds like 
probably Thanks, like an eighteen God. month cycle. Nah, I don't know about that. We are three, sometimes four friends, who come and talk about video games for your enjoyment. We do a games cast every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I perform Monday. Jay is on Wednesday, and Nick is on Friday. We also let you know what's coming out on Jay's episode on Sunday when we tell you all about the games coming out, even if we don't know what the fuck they are. My Which happens says, a lot. Yep. My fortune says, don't believe Ubisoft. They may go back to the yearly releases. Huh. <laughs> what are your lucky numbers? My lucky numbers are... Assassin's Creed 1, 2, 3, Black Flag. Chinese word of the week is Reek. lie. <laughs> We also honor you with Let's Plays on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Check out the Far Cry Primal where I fuck around a little bit. Also this week, very special, Division. I play the Madison Square Garden mission. Very cool mission. It takes place in Madison Square Garden. You get to see all of MSG and all its goriness. And then on Thursdays, I venture into the Dark Zone and see what life is like in the Dark Zone. And also, if you guys are interested, check out last week's Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays, which I did Street Fighter Five Story Mode. Yes, you did. Very nice. Definitely worth, definitely get that game. And check it out later on today, where Pete and I will settle our gentleman's agreement. Yep. Oh, sounds like you just I'm Nick tall. walked into that. I just Nick walked into that. Nick uh, <laughs> Super Street Fighter Five. If you're watching this before Super Five... Super Street Fighter Five. I said Street Fighter Five. You said Super Street Fighter It's going to be a super day. Super Street Fighter Five on February 29th, which is today, at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. On twitch.tv slash improv cot. Yes, you heard me right. Not cap. I can't even say it. <laughs> uh, I, it never happened. <laughs> cot. <laughs> C O T. K O T. At least you know your own thing. Um, that's going to be on 5 p.m. Nick thinks he's going to beat me. He's not going to beat me. You're gonna I figure lose. maybe we'll probably do like a best of nine or best something. Best of five. Best of five? That's yeah. going to end so soon. Not the best of five. Best of five rounds. Not, not best of like. Yeah, so, so three, best five. of nine. So you would have to win five matches in order to win. Yeah, we can do that. Why not? Yeah, that's what we're doing. I mean, that's a little overboard. That's not how it's done in competition, but sure. We got to give a service. We'll, we'll, break the, we'll break the rules for you. You know what? It's not, I'm gonna, I, you know what? I'll just fight with my hands tied behind my back yeah, and a controller sitting in front of me. And then, you know, people will emerge victorious. I don't know how he did it, how he was able to come up with that, but yeah, sure. Pete, we'll so just, check that out today. We'll just change the PM, for you, Pete. 5 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Time on Improv Cot. K-O-T. There you go. So if this all sounds good to you and all my rigmarole I just went through, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps us out tremendously. You get to then, as well, share our beautiful faces. I didn't expect sucks. you to touch me. Yeah. I'm very disturbed right now. Very disturbed. Oh, With God. your beautiful friends. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have I think I have an STD now. <laughs> oh, now or a sudden onset of nicotine addiction. Yeah. Addiction. <laughs> a vaping addiction. <laughs> now, on to the show. Now, what is the show you may ask? We don't know. We don't know. We have no idea. This is a from, from the, the fans. fans because reasons. Because reasons. <laughs> so, let me just explain. Christine is about to talk. We have a topic today that none of us know, and the same thing will go for Wednesday and Friday. We do not know these topics this week. She's going Sorry. to give us a topic, and we are going to talk about it, and just wing it, and if we know it, great. If not, you're going to see the downfall of Improv Gaming right before your eyes. <laughs> okay. gonna, next week, they'll be called, okay, we got to plan shit out, gaming. <laughs> but, I bring it to you. What's up, guys? So, I'm pondering. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh snap. Pondering. Well, snap. I think which is so much better than wondering, because it sounds just way more, like, smart and high class. Oh, well, I've been wondering for 53 weeks. <laughs> pondering. Is it 53? I started on Destiny week two. You're a little behind. That's, that's not how math works, but sure. There you go. 52 is a year. <laughs> so. We're on episode 50. 46. 46. Wow, did I tell you? That <laughs> I was waiting for you to get around. I, like, I was like, really? 50. How's that not treating you, buddy? This 50? is already the start of the fall of improv games. You should, <laughs> you should never take a nap before this show. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to clarify, all right? I feel rejuvenated. I just took a nap. 
mistake after mistake after mistake. At least I'm just full of mistakes. Like, you took a nap in order to be prepared, and you're making terrible mistakes. <laughs> All right, are you still pondering, or are we going to get this out of the way? So I'm pondering. 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 What you guys think indie games, like Portal, Limbo, Unraveled more currently, because that's kind of what initiated it for me. What more indie games that are not quite so mainstream can do to, to get noticed more by the casual and, and the hardcore gamers. If you were a developer of like a Limbo type thing or Unravel or Portal and you wanted to like get your game out there like and attract, like what do you think they should do marketing wise to, to get themselves out there more? Number one, Portal is not an indie game. It's a mainstream. I was going to say that. Fine. <laughs> Um, I apologize. That's all right. Sorry, we're right. calling each other. No, no, but work. but to to your credit, it is it did, or was. I was actually wondering. That. I was like, it was might more of an un, of an unknown title. I guess that I was, what I was it, more it was of an underground, underground thing. Was an underground more of like title. an underground kind. When, Maybe when, not indie's the wrong word. Until Portal Two came around, Portal was an underrated title that nobody really paid any attention. And then to. everybody's like, I want to play this because yes. you can go through portals and shit, and you have to stop a fucking Gladys robot. Yes, but so when when Portal Two came around, that's when it really blew up. Um... But I think I think the tools are there for indie developers already because they have the network, the the PlayStation Network, the the Xbox Live community that they can utilize for for advertisement. The PlayStation community as well. But but really, the only thing that they can do is make great games. I mean, that that will speak volumes compared to any kind of marketing strategy that they could that they could even dream of. Um, Assassin's Creed probably two, three years ago had the biggest marketing strategy. It was everywhere. But the game flopped. Terribly. So when you have big budget games, you have these big marketing campaigns and they can fail miserably. Um, but meanwhile, other titles that aren't so big seem to do great, right? Until Dawn blew it out of the water. Uh, what's, what's another title? Undertale was pretty big, which... Let me explain. Undertale is... It looks like an old school, like... Super Nintendo or an NES game, like an old school Nintendo RPG. And this goes back to our Games of the Year awards we did a couple months. Check it out, youtube.com slash improv gaming. Basically, um, this game has been on every one of the fucking top ten games, top five games, whatever. Everyone's, it's been on there. I, it's a fucking PC game. I want to play it when it comes to a console, but wait, this little indie game where you basically play as like a little pixelated characters on everybody's top ten list for 2015. What does that say about indie games? You can actually pull some pull a rabbit out of a hat out of left field. Well, but that's what I'm saying. I'm surprised. Life was strange has been nominated for many awards when Dice came around when they had the Dice Awards. It was nominated for quite a lot, and if you remember years back. Telltale, when they did The Walking Dead, that won Game of the Year. Really? And that was for incredible for an indie game to go against Call of Duty and all the AAA titles, and for that to come out victorious. Well, the problem is, and this is something that I've been saying since we started, and even before we started improv gaming, is that big AAA titles are redundant. People are bored of them. You have, you have your fourth... Uncharted, which is essentially going to be the same gameplay that we've played in the last three. Right? No offense. Right? I'm not saying... Street that, Fighter. That's, that's well and good. Yeah, Street Fighter, which is essentially the last thing that we've... The last the, the last 20 years of our video game culture has been Street Fighter. And Metal it, Gear. And it, and it plays the same way. Metal Gear plays the same way. It plays the same way it always has. So, so Mario's the, redundant. That's the same game over and over yeah. 30,000 so times. People are tired that's of that. That's a nostalgia thing, I think. Well, I think no. It's, it, no. Well, for Mario specifically, I think... You, you, you get these titles that are just boring. That's why these indie developers are able to bring something new to the table that blows up. That's why something, as, and then this is my opinion, I know a lot of people are, are giving accolades out to this game, but that's why something like Firewatch, which is a garbage game, in my opinion, <laughs> it's fucking trash, has so many accolades attributed to it. People love the game for some reason. But there's, it's not even for some reason. It's because it's not the same thing that these AAA titles are bringing up to the consoles. And it's not the same redundant bullshit that they've been dealing with. Now it's it's the 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 indies seem to have taken place of the exciting new frontier. Yeah, they they're, they're doing things that people in larger triple A projects don't want to risk it with. Yeah, and it's interesting. Also, you think about like with the, like with the indies and the redundancy. Zelda tried it with Twi-Force, Twi-Force, Triforce Heroes, and that game fucking flopped. Sometimes you can reach out and try something new and it produces gold. Sometimes it just 
falls miserably. See, but Nintendo's never afraid to take that step. That's I why I, I don't ever want to include Nintendo into the big AAA titles because yeah. Nintendo is always willing to That's why take something you, like, like Yoshi, give him his own game, and then turn it into a will a wall uni- universe where he's utilizing wall in order to get around and, and play around with different men- mechanics that way. Um, I don't know. Well, to go back to your question, you said what can indie games do to get more notice? Yeah, like I, I, I get what Nick streams? is saying. Like marketing can only go so far if your game is crap, and I totally agree with that. But to branch off of that a little bit, would you suggest maybe like giving like um, like more indie games, like having the developers give them out to like more well-known reviewers so that word gets out of how good the game is and have that sort of be a marketing this technique? Is, this is what... Know? Indie has to do this. And Xbox One has done it, and so has um, PlayStation 4. We'll get it this way. PlayStation 4 is an exclusive. On console is Firewatch. Xbox One does not have Firewatch. Mm-hmm. And now everybody's going, oh, that's good. That's a game that I want to play. It's on PlayStation 4. Sam Moore 2, what I was very excited for and what I still play, Yuri in the Blind Forest. That's an Xbox One exclusive indie, which looks fantastic and was also nominated for a whole bunch of awards at DICE, you know, and it had great art direction and all this stuff. So, and the idea of how to get an indie more noticeable, there's many indie games that go underneath the radar, you know, they try to give you so many games. Um, Bro Team Force is the game coming out for March officially for oh, PlayStation yeah. Plus. Which, hey, that looks cool. But honestly, if it was a regular retail game, probably wouldn't be picking it up. Because yeah. not as much is known about that game. Yeah. But when you have something like Firewatch that Sony has put time into, when you have something like uh, Ori in the Blind Forest or iDarb on what Xbox about, One, or what were you saying? What about Dreams? Dreams is from Mirror Molecule. It's third person. Uh, third. I thought it was in the because it's not in the You're not in the But Mirror Molecule is Little Big Planet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but just to come back and play all these indie games, you know, and it, you have to be able to grab an audience right away. It was similar with Life is Strange. When I watched the trailer, and you can contest to this, huh. I was very like. Uh, I don't know, but the trailer was very interesting, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this game a shot, and now I'm pissed because it's only $9.99 on the PlayStation Network. Hopefully still by today, if when you're seeing this, so definitely check it out. $9.99. It needs a steal to get it for that much. Anyway. Um, but what made you watch the trailer in the first place, I guess? is like it's, it's all about how it's titled, too. Everything with what Nick was saying, it's all about marketing. If you were going to get a game like Unravel, Unravel sounds like, and I'm just using an example, Nick. Don't <laughs> jump down my goddamn throat. Unravel, it's a cool name. Everybody's yeah. like, why don't you just call it Yarny? Because everybody would be like, Yarny, what the fuck is this? Does Sweep. It, does he have when to they go, Yoshi? Yeah. I was like, Unravel, ooh, what's that? You know, and it helped with EA giving the push for it. That was but, still the biggest thing at E3 when that trailer showed up and you're like, I really want to play this game. And the rest of us were like, what the fuck is this game? But life is strange. You're like, Wait, why is why is this life strange? What is it doing? And you know, mm-hmm. and to a similar idea, getting in when an indie developer is confident and gives codes early and says, you know what, you don't have to wait to put up a review the day, the day it comes out. We're confident this game is so good, you could put up the review now. Yeah. Firewatch was up I, days before it was actually released on the PlayStation Network because they were very confident in that game. And for many developers, it shows it's a great. Story based game for many people, some not so much. See, but they still had a non disclosed agreement if you had a bad review on it. Yeah, but it's also, you're giving it to the positive thing. This is what. No, they still had it in the contract. Yeah. If you don't like it, you can't speak about it until it comes out. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's a standard contract. Yeah. You, reviews will come out before a game comes out, and that's, that's obvious. But if you don't like it, depending you can't on speak the about developer, it. though. No. Every time. Every time. Yeah, if you don't like it, you can't talk about it until the game comes out. It's not until after a game... Com- pay attention. It's not until after a game comes out, you start seeing bad reviews. Yeah. Is that because they, they think they can fix what's wrong with it? Or no, no. It's just because they don't want you the could bad affect PR. our... You, you could, could affect, affect sales. sales. Case in point with... um, Oh, what the fuck was it called? Devil's Third. You didn't see anything yeah. about that game from Nintendo. You saw the title screen come up at the Direct and then... Look out of that piece of trash. 
Look at uh, the escapist, the indie game, the escapist, where you have to break out of jail. It Fun did, game. It did decent. It's really good. I like it. Did decent. Slap, Walking Dead, the escapist. It's gonna sell. It's with the Walking Dead name. People like the Walking Dead. It's gonna sell more copies. It's very similar to a game. It just has a new fresh coat of paint on it, but same mechanic. What indies? I think what indie has to do, indie type games, is give a nice. Not not a full-on demo, because some indie games are not that long. But a nice little indie to be like, hey, try our stuff. L- we've had this discussion weeks back on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming where uh, b- these betas are getting out of control. Yep. You know? And not enough demos are getting released. And with all these big games saying, oh, beta, check out the Division beta. Which I did, you know? But then it's something where a game can go under my radar. Look at... Look at this. I'm interested in Firewatch. I know you you were not a fan of it, but I'm really tempted to play Firewatch because also one of the podcasts I listen to where it's about to go into a spoiler thing for the rest of the episode, and I don't want to listen to it because I want to play the game, so I'm pissed that it's on my iPhone and not getting yeah. anywhere. But um, You should just skip that. <laughs> skip it to the next episode. Yeah, that's wrong. But yeah. I still want to listen yeah. to it, though. Yeah, but, um, you really don't. <laughs> but anyway... It's not I mean, they're talking to the developers of the game. That's why they're they're speaking so great about it. But you'll you'll pay attention to that, and you'll see that there's one person that is not saying a single word about that game. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking. But do they spoil it that bad? No, they don't spoil it that bad. I don't know, maybe. But there's one person that's not saying a single word about that game. Yeah, well, you knew. Who you were. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> besides the point. Now I lost my train of thought. Stupid son. <laughs> What? I'm sorry. You no, well. but you see, to 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 Indy's credit, like they are getting out there and they're talking to, to yeah. people that are important. So the podcast that you're listening to is a great example of how Indies are starting to understand. Yeah. We have to get out here and start talking to the people that actually matter. Yeah. yeah. And there are a lot of people in a lot of a lot of a lot of areas where they can start to actually um, branch out and yeah. talk to people that matter. But it requires some market research, and I don't know if indies have that kind of budget. They actually, yeah. they actually don't. The best name I can give is uh, we remember this one, Slash Dash. Dash yeah. We picked this. I stole the same card. This is the card I got from Evo. They actually had a demo at Evo the year before, and the game came out last year, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, literally, that was they could have. They just did a small little booth with like what ten, fifteen TVs set up, and they're like, just try the game, check it out. Here's some free pins. Here's the postcard. Yep, yep, yep. And that's literally what indie has to do. Literally, they have to like go to these. The, yeah, for they one have, thing, they can go to the, com- the um, conferences or like the tournaments and just be like, yeah, just set up a little booth and then literally talk to your friends about this. And like, literally, I was interested in this game. And then until we were doing one up back when it was one up news, I was like, oh, Slash Dash is coming. I remember that. So. See, the also what helps indies too. Do you carry that card on you everywhere you go? I left it in my notebook. <laughs> I just realized I had it. I'm like, because he always has yeah, that yeah, card. Yeah, I, know. I, went, I don't want to say like, it again. Like during E3, he had it. Like when the game came out, he had it. I feel like you sleep with that card and like under your pillow. It's not sticky. So <laughs> okay. But to, on closing with this, um, with indie, one of the good things they also do is the PlayStation Plus game or the Xbox game. See, where, I don't know if that's a good thing. Yeah, but you know what? It gets familiar with the developer. Like for example, say. Never Alone, when we played that. What's the battle like? The, the Ebola. Yeah, yeah. Throw, throw the, the bola. bola. Throw the bola. Jay, throw the you know? bola. You're wild. So now it's like, that was a fun game. I'm looking forward to seeing what they could do next. Look Who at was the developer of that? Oh. Sky, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> Skybound? I want to say... <laughs> But, but just, that's my point. Yeah. Like, do you really remember who, this, who the developer is of these games? But you know what it is? At least we were able to play their game. That game, if it was not on the PlayStation Plus, would you have picked up Never Alone? Yes, but will you pick up their next title? You don't even know the developer's name to know All the you have title. to say is, hey, they're creators of Never Alone. Oh, I played that game. I enjoyed What's it. What's Never Alone? You know, some people are going to say that. Yeah, we'll Telltale The Walking Dead, from the creators of The Walking Dead of Telltale. Well, Telltale, you, I wouldn't even fucking count as an indie Not anymore. anymore. Like, they're nowhere near an indie. But, or Square Enix, when um, they were the publisher of Life is Strange, it's like, brought to you from the guys from Life is Strange. You know, hey, I really enjoyed that series. You know, it just, what indie has to do in the long run is put, get in bed with a couple more developers. I hate how you say that. Is you know, really but get with it. like PlayStation Four. Hey, look, we have this exclusive that you can only play here right now. You know, hey, we have this exclusive you can only play on here. You know, and then they have to have a couple demos just to give you a little taste. You know, because 
the mm. games get flooded. Well, question. Yes. At like really at like stores like a GameStop kind of thing, um, mm -hmm. where you're able to try out games. Can that only be once they're released? Is there any chance that they could demo games? No. Once they're released. Once they're okay. Yep. Unless unless there's an actual official demo disc that came to the demo to the disc store. or they you know for a GameStop or Best Buy they don't they can't really get like early access to stuff. Reviewers like sites like IGN, GameSpot, yeah. uh, Polygon, they get well, game pre code. How far version. in advance, or it depends? It depends. Okay. It depends. If, if, the game, if the developers feel very strongly with the game, they could give two weeks. They can give a week. They, they had like, Metal Gear for a couple weeks because they, they were confident in Metal Gear. They had what, uh, Smash Brothers 3DS at Best Buy for like, what, a 20 minute trial? You could win online yep. and get some shit like that? Because they're confident that's a mainstream game. It's, it's, it depends, though, but then. It also helps because if you get these free promotions yeah, from the what, developer standpoint, yeah. that gives it to these online personalities or these people that's that say, what I think, here, yeah, that's try what our I was game, thinking, please, like, please talk about our game. People but you have to be confident, yeah. like you said. If, if Look at volume. Volume, I wasn't even going to pay attention to, but so many of the big people in this gaming world, the IGNs and Kind of Funnies and stuff like that, they had these demo, uh, these codes, and they were able to play early. So when... You're listening to them and say, oh, yeah, you should check out Volume. It's a pretty cool game. This is what you do. You know, this, it's, it's going to come to Vita soon. Oh, man, fuck, I got a Vita. I can't wait to play that. You know, I'll save it for the Vita. You gotta, they just got to do it where it's tough for an indie v developer, but once you get that thing, like you said, you argue with it. But you have to remember, Tall Tale used to be, nobody That's knew who the saying. fuck exactly. they were. Exactly, like they got yeah. to a point where they are yeah. where they are no, now, but how did but they do they that? they didn't do it through marketing. They did it because they of the did name. it because because of they they did Walking Dead they yeah, did that's what I'm doing, saying they, they did and how Portal did, like Portal they, like how they, did Portal go from like under the radar to Game now it's like because, because it was they packaged start, but they yeah. started with Walking Dead but that's like the Escapist the Escapist did all right with my comment earlier but now they're doing the Escapist the Walking Dead edition which yeah, now it's going to put gonna, a lot that's more. Not gonna, that's not going to jettison Escapist into any into any new realm but Walking how do you Dead know? there's no way. There's no way you're gonna take a basic N64 game and convince me that it's a game of all time by throwing a Walking Dead skin over it. But it still it gives that credit to that indie I'm developer. I'm sorry, it's a 2D platformer. Worse than a 2D platformer. It's what, a top escapist? down. Escapist. It's I like it. Is, it. is it a top down? Yeah. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> Let him know in the comments he's wrong. Nick's a dick. <laughs> Oh, I'm thinking Escape Plan. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking yeah. Escape Plan. It doesn't thinking. fucking matter. It's That's a top. Oh, it's Zelda. I'm sorry. I apologize. Watch what you huh. said. I'm just saying. Watch right? what you You're going to give me a Super NES game on a PlayStation 4 and try to convince me that it's Walking Dead capable. It does not fucking well, matter. It's, it's a, a garbage they took, game. They, they took Link to the Past and made Link Between Worlds on the 3DS, and that was fucking gold. Nick's just pissed because, in closing, live, if you're watching <laughs> this the time, before bro. 5 p.m. today, Eastern Time on Improv Ka. 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 No, I said Ka. Good girl. He's a Ka. <laughs> Improv Ka. With K O T. You can find me kicking the crap out of Nick in Street it's Fighter. Not, it's not going to happen. Yeah? I'm, 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 I promise you it's well, not going to happen. Well, wait, are you taking a nap before Street Fighter? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going to go home please and take, take a nap, nap nap. Take a nap, please. But in closing, um, that was the first question to our. What is it? Because reasons. Because uh, reasons. reasons. <laughs> um, Jay will also have a similar or completely different topic. It's we for don't the fans know. week. She's going to so, ask a different topic. So. But uh, make sure you check out the Let's Plays coming up this week on YouTube.com slash Improv Gaming Division. Like I said earlier, Tuesday's all about Madison Square Garden mission. And then I got Dark Zone coming up on Tuesday, uh, on Thursday. Um, check out the Far Cry Christmas. Primal. Check out his Street Fighter um, story, story mode. mode. Lots of stuff on the channel. Keep it here for and all yes, the latest news. Yes, I will get to news. Link to the Past eventually. I'm busy right now. He's got things to do. Yeah, I do. Because uh, reasons. Because reasons. Ha! But make sure you check that all out. Any breaking news, you know to keep it here. Only on Improv Gaming. And as always, game, game on. on. Even yeah. easier to... Genius. What kind of juice? You never offer me juice. Because you always want water. Sometimes maybe I want juice.